Happy 2022, everyone. I know I started my year a little later than usual, but I guess I'm here. January is almost over, but that doesn't mean I already ruined my 2022. 2021 was not the best nor the worst year for me. There were a lot of challenges and problems in life, but best things happened as well. Breakdowns, cries, and more dramas in life were present. Maybe these things will forever be part of our existence. 2021 was the year of growth and learning for me. I did a lot of things during that year. Learned Korean language, just the basic. <laughs> Buying stuff that made me happy. Uh, graduated senior high school, entered college, and traveled for the first time after two years. And a lot more. Time flies so fast. Now, it's 2022. A new beginning, another chapter, another survival year for us. It feels like yesterday when I started my college. Feels like yesterday when I finally found the real happiness within myself. Feels like yesterday when COVID-19 started and now we're still facing it. Life is really hard and unpredictable. Now that we are still battling this whole pandemic, I don't know what's ahead of me, what's the future of me, what's my future. It's kind of blurry as of now, but I always keep this in my mind. Whatever happens, I trust God's plans. This year will be probably the end of my youth. The reality hits me, like, oh my god, this year will be the year that I am going 20. And it's like, it feels so surreal. I will turn 20 this year and I don't know why I'm feeling pressured. Deep inside me, I am still the kid that enjoys useless stuff, laughs at corny jokes, immature at some point for some reasons, and plays games with younger cousins. Maybe I am feeling this way because I am the eldest child in our family and the, the eldest granddaughter in our whole family. Maybe I am pressured from the things I saw online, social medias, seeing girls at my age that are living their best lives. Traveling, attending concerts, buying things they want, and a lot more. Yes, I'm not gonna lie, I am kinda jealous of those people. <sighs> this 2022, I told myself not to depend on what I see in Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, or Twitter. I told myself, not to be hard on myself and just enjoy life as it is. Live life to the fullest because I only live once. That's the motto. <laughs> I want my 2022 memorable. I want to focus on myself, my happiness, and my contentment. I want to just go with the flow but know where I stand. I want to guard my precious heart and continue to heal my whole self. Being a fangirl will always be part of my life. Always. <sighs> I have a lot of dreams and goals in life as a fan. Attending concerts is one of those dreams. Maybe it's too impossible for now, but I'll make it soon. In God's perfect time. Maybe some people will say that it's so impossible, Myra, just dream less. No, dreams are totally free. Imagine I am on the crowd seeing those idols that I stand, especially Seventeen and BTS, because they really, they, they literally saved 
me on my darkest times. You know, you don't you don't understand as a fan kasi. But for me, that's my happiness and you can you can steal that happiness for me because I've been looking and I've been seeking for this happiness to came into my life. And then now I am having it and I am enjoying it. I am happy with it. And I hope you're happy too with your life. So imagine you are at the crowd witnessing the whole concert and then you're finally hearing them sing your favorite song or whatever. And then you're going to see them personally and I don't want to cry. I don't know. It's just that I, I cannot contain my happiness, my emotion towards these beautiful boys because they literally are the safe place and home. Maybe some of you will not understand what I felt, what I am feeling right now. But this is my dream as a fan and I hope in the future I will make it and I will prove you wrong. To wrap things up, basically I just want to live a simple life. To live as Moira this year. A simple Moira. Like, you know, no pressure and just do what I love and need to do. Be kinder and happier, of course. And also, I really hope this pandemic will end soon and we will back normal and we can enjoy life as it is. Have a happy new year, besties. May we live this year with a smile on our faces despite of all the things we encountered in the past and we encounter in the future. Hansang, Moira Jimenez. Peace out.